Okay, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Fortnite Mythbusters. In today's episode, we have a whole ton of awesome myths that you guys suggested on the last episode. So, just like always, if you do have a myth you would like me to test in the next or future episodes of the Fortnite Mythbusters, make sure to go down in the comments and drop a comment of that myth for a pretty good chance to be featured. As well, if you are new around here and you want to help us on the road to 1.1 million subscribers, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications to never miss another Fortnite Mythbusters episode. As well, if you do enjoy today's video at any moment, feel free to consider leaving a like. Let's see if we could smash 12,098 likes on today's episode. That would be insane. But without further ado, let's get right on in to today's episode. Kicking things off, jumping straight into the first myth. The first myth is if you kill all of the Stark robots on the map, will the final Stark robot still get knocked or will it instantly die? So this is actually a very, very good myth. This one got a whole ton of requests and, uh, you know, it's something that not just one person could do in the map because Stark robots they land all over the place they're at Stark Industries they have multiple jets so uh it's hard to do it by yourself when trying this myth out it took a whole ton of teamwork but basically I landed at Stark Industries while my friend went to a few of the jets and killed all of the Stark robots there because you know they're very very spread out and it's hard to do it you know in one game after I fully took out the Stark Industries I then made my way to a few of the jets where you know I I wiped all of the Stark robots out from there as well and uh, you know it came down to only one jet left on the map and when I killed the final Stark robot on the map, instead of him instantly dying like how you would if your whole squad was dead and you were last alive, it actually got knocked on the ground and I still had the option to hack it, which is why I think, uh, you know, it gets knocked rather than die is because uh, Epic wants you to have the option to hack it no matter what, because it wouldn't be fair if not. Going straight into the next myth, the next myth is does Iron Man's uni beam damage players through the vault walls? So in the previous episodes of the Fortnite Mythbusters, we already know that Iron Man's uni beams will go through multiple walls. I think it's like six or seven metal walls and then, you know, even more with the brick as well as the wood and uh, Iron Man's uni beam it goes really really far as well it could reach up to 200 meters so uh you know the vault walls uh we, we know that they can't break so maybe iron man's unibeam might be able to do damage through it or something when trying this myth out i basically lined my friend up in the direct center of the wall we could tell by the line in the direct center of the wall i then went to the other side shot the unibeam and uh, you know it, it made a mark on the wall but it didn't do any damage and uh, you know from his pov or if you're inside of the vault you can see that the wall does get you know a little bit dark but uh, it doesn't you know fully go through you can see that it does clearly you know hit the wall though which is pretty interesting going into the next myth and surprisingly this myth got a whole ton of likes on the last episode this myth is does black panther's kinetic armor's 20 percent less damage stat counts towards fall damage or does it only count towards you know the bullets so if you don't know already when you use this uh th this mythical weapon and you are actually using the power up uh when you're in the middle of you know the transformation or you have the speed you will actually take less damage than uh you know if you were to not be using it we know this is true because my friend tested it out just by shooting me with a silence smg where it did like 21 or 23 damage when i didn't have the effect enabled but as soon as i enabled it uh you know it was only doing like 15 to 16 damage which is you know about 20 percent of what it usually does when i tried this out i basically made a platform up into the air and jumped off of it where i went from 70 hp down to 48 which is about 22 damage from a uh, you know straight from that fall i then tried it one more time where i went from 48 hp down to 29 and uh you know it was only a 19 hp difference which is a little bit less than 22 but i don't really think it has any effect on fall damage i think it might have just been you know the terrain maybe i was a little bit higher up uh, when i landed going straight into the next myth the next myth is what happens when you boogie bomb wolverine will wolverine have the same dancing effect as the players do now this is a pretty straightforward myth honestly i've tested you know boogie bombing you know a stark robot as well as iron man basically all of the bosses that have came onto the map over the times and uh you know all of them do have the exact same effect as a regular player they will still do you know the same dance as well as have the disco ball above their head and uh you know it lasts for about 15 seconds i think maybe a little bit less when i tried this out i basically found wolverine uh, i then threw the boogie bomb where he did have the same effect the only difference is that you know he still does have his speed boost he uh he runs very very fast but uh, you know he can't do any damage to you but he does get like right up on you and, uh, you know, it's going to be really hard to get away from them if you have the same dancing effect as well. Going straight into the next myth, the next myth is, will Slurpee Swamp's water heal a car like how a natural campfire does around the map? So if you don't know already, the natural campfires around the map, if you have a vehicle that is slightly damaged or, you know, even hurting really, really bad, if you light the campfire, not only will it heal your player, but it will also heal your vehicle. This is very good for maybe if your vehicle is at like 1 HP 
or you know at like you know just 20 hp down whatever it may be it, it heals you unfortunately slurpy swamp's water isn't the same as you know the natural campfires you can drive your car into slurpy swamp and the interesting thing is is that it won't heal the car and it won't even heal your player even when you get out of the car it, it still will not heal your player unless you jump up and then you land back in the water where it then you know enables the effect but you know i thought that was pretty weird that's like one of the only ways that you could actually get into slurpy swamp's water without actually healing or having you know the, the slurpy swamp waters you know blue effect on your player which is uh you know pretty interesting this is definitely good to know uh, if you were planning on healing your car or any type of vehicles in that sorts going into the next myth and a highly requested myth this myth is what happens when a car drives into one of the stark robots drones will the drone break will it take damage what exactly happens i thought this was actually a very very good myth because it's not every day that you could just drive a car into one of these stark robot drones most of the drones in games they they, they spawn up very very high you know rarely are they ever on the ground where you could actually have your car hit them and it, you know the cars in this game are pretty heavy as well you can't really have them catch air that often i got lucky enough to find a stark robot drone that was fairly close to the ground where i then drove my car into it and it seemed like i started to push the drone a little bit and then you know obviously it ended up taking enough damage where it broke and uh, which you know the loot then fell on the ground and uh, i was able to get whatever the loot was but you know it, it's pretty cool to see you know the stark robot drones could still break by cars going straight into the next myth the next myth is if you throw a port of at a gorger will the gorger get stuck in the bills and not be able to fight so usually when you're fighting a gorger and you place down a build to It'll instantly destroy the builds if it's right next to them. So uh, if you throw a port of fort, maybe it'll somehow bug out the game. Maybe it'll block them and you could actually, you know, somehow trap them in or something. What exactly happened? When trying this out, obviously it was pretty, pretty easy. I found a gorger around the map. I then went up to him. I threw the port of fort where at first I, I thought it actually did trap him inside. Then I ran around to the other side of the port of fort where, you know, half of it was completely destroyed. But, you know, all of the walls fully built up. It still, you know, had the same amount of, you know, health that the metal walls usually do have and uh, you know it was just a little bit more cover than usual but no it, it doesn't fully block the gorger in and it doesn't confuse them at all one bit either going straight into the next myth the next myth is will a helicopter teleport through a rift with you like how the cars do now there's a whole ton of these uh you know these rifts that are located around the map and uh, you know a lot of people still use the helicopters to rotate because obviously they're way faster than the car they're way faster than you know literally anything and way more efficient unfortunately though when you're flying a helicopter and you see one of these rifts if you go into it even with your player you know in the in the cockpit of the helicopter it literally will not teleport you up into the area even though the player is you know right inside of the rift it still won't teleport you uh and uh, you know you'll be able to fly straight through it even when you jump out of the helicopter and get teleported up the helicopter still will not come with you you know kind of like how players if they were within a rift they will teleport up with going into the next myth and another quick myth this myth is what happens when you throw a shockwave grenade at a gorger will the shockwave grenade affect uh, you know the gorger will it launch them back what exactly happens this myth was actually very very easy to do and uh you know obviously uh, it doesn't affect the gorger you could throw it literally right underneath it you could throw it out of the gorger but the gorger you know it, it totally withstands that it doesn't get knocked back not even one tiny bit it, it's like a massive rock in the sky like there's no way you can move this thing i mean it's still good to test because maybe i saved you guys a shockwave grenade or two in a real game going into the next myth the next myth is can you upgrade a stark industries rifle this myth was actually very very straightforward i basically you know went over to a upgrade machine i you know upgraded my blue stark industries rifle where it then turned into a purple one i then upgraded the purple into a legendary and it does a whole ton of damage it's basically you know just like a regular legendary stark industries rifle but if you do hit a headshot with this thing it could be very very deadly going into the last and final myth this myth is what happens when wolverine goes through a rift this myth was actually very very easy to do believe it or not basically i found wolverine i got into a car and uh you know just baited him all the way over to a rift where he actually did teleport straight up into the sky like a real player he had the same exact animation and everything and the crazy thing is is that he didn't you know just magically fall down to the ground he pulled out a glider and literally was gliding around the map as for the glider i can't tell if this is a default glider or if it's a custom one i tried to go into my locker and find the default one but uh i couldn't find it anywhere so you guys have to let me know on that one because i really have no clue on this anyways that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode i hope you have enjoyed if you have make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new turn on those post notifications to never miss another fortnite mythbusters episode and i will see you guys next time